Lord, help me prayer. We are not moved by what we see, hear, smell, touch, or taste. We are not moved by reason. We are only moved by your spirit and your word, and we know your voice, and we hear your voice, and we refuse to follow strangers according to John 10, 27. Our seed is mighty upon the earth according to Psalms 1, 12. Verse 2, Lord Jesus, I ask you to expand my territories, to fill me and increase me in the Holy Spirit and anointing with power. I ask you to lead me in paths of righteousness for your name's sake. I bless you, praise you, worship you, and commit all that I am to you, that your perfect will will be done through me. I ask you, Help me to cease from my own labors, I do so by faith. I ask that you cause me to enter the rest now, in Jesus' name, and I receive that. I ask you to release my warring and ministering angels to minister and war on my behalf. I ask you to fill this, your temple, with as much Shekinah glory as possible. Help me to bear the cross you have prepared for me and help those in my family. I ask that the Holy Spirit speak to my heart through your word. I ask that you prepare me with the reverence and worship and with humility through your Holy Spirit. I ask that you take out of me, add to me, or do to me anything you want. I ask that the word I read would be engrafted into me and become part of me, spirit, mind, will, and emotions. I declare your power. You are helping and causing me to be bold, dauntless, fearless, confident, intrepid, valiant, steadfast, faithful, true, and loyal for your name's sake. I ask you to deliver me where I am blind wretched, naked, and poor, I ask for your help. I ask you to help me not be the accuser of the brethren, but to teach others in gentleness, to be a help in season, to edify, to exhort, and comfort others. I ask for love and grace for others, and grace from your word. I ask for help, that your love and grace in me flow and be administered to others by your spirit in me to manifest your presence in and through me. I release all things into your hands and commit myself unto you, trusting you. I ask you for help, that you give me the word that you want me to give to others. Lord, forgive me and help me to follow your direction. I ask that you would send those that would receive the gift of salvation to me, that I may witness to them. Let them ask and receive, Father. I ask that you give me a clear mind and thoughts toward you, clear will toward you, and clear all emotional clutter. This is all about you. Hearing you is easier than thinking. I ask you to cause me to hear you louder and clearer and rest in you. I ask you to release your love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness with long suffering and self-control to flow over and in and throughout my life. I ask you to fashion my heart like yours that your fruit will abound in and through me to others. I ask you, Holy Father, for a clear, sharp, and healthy mind and body in you. Heavenly Father, I ask for your perfect will being worked out through my life and the lives of those that my life touch as you direct me. I ask you for eyes to see, ears to hear, and a heart to comprehend and receive what the Holy Spirit has to say. I ask to speak and to do your perfect will in this life 
for you, for me, and for my family. I ask you to guard me and my family with many angels and that they manifest as needed. I ask you to make me alert, awake, sharp, and attentive in your thoughts and ways. I ask that I may prosper in what I put my hands to do for you. I ask you to renew my youth like the eagles. I ask for a heart like yours and growth and maturity to walk in it to the fullest with you. In Jesus' name, amen. Holy Spirit, have your way with all of me. In Jesus' name, amen. Heavenly Father, I declare your faithfulness to the heavens and your loving kindness and tender mercies anew every morning. Amen. Heavenly Father, I ask that my mind, will, and emotions do not deceive me in hearing your voice and be still in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, I ask that you shut any doors that need to be shut and open any doors that need to be opened in the spiritual and natural realms. In Jesus' name, Heavenly Father, I plead the blood of Jesus over those doorways and I ask that the enemy be rendered powerless and harmless so they cannot come back through those doorways ever again to me. Mention the names here. And our houses, lands, properties, vehicles, workplaces, schools, finances in Jesus' name. Amen. If you are being blessed with this video, I ask you to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. It doesn't cost anything to subscribe in this channel. We are doing this for the glory and honor of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. If you haven't confessed or received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, now is the time to get saved. Or perhaps you have wandered far away from the Lord since you surrendered your life to Him, have backslidden or started living worldly. Our God is a very loving and very forgiving God. All we have to do is to humble ourselves and ask for forgiveness. The word says in Psalm 103, 12, As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our sins from us. The Bible says in Romans 10, verse 9 to 10, that if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. You will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified, and it is with your mouth that you confess and are saved. Let us pray. Father God, I come to you recognizing I am a sinner and my sins separates me from you. Jesus, I repent of all my sins. Forgive me. Wash me with your precious blood. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I believe you died for me and God the Father raised you from the dead. Jesus Christ, come into my heart and change me. I proclaim that you are my Lord and my Savior. And if I were to die today, when I open my eyes, I will be in your arms. I break every covenant with the world, my flesh, and the enemy. I make a covenant with you to serve you all the days of my life. In Jesus' name I pray. 
Amen. Now that you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, it says in Luke 15.10, Likewise, I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that repents. Continue to walk with God by spending time with Him in prayers, reading the Bible, and fellowship with the fellow believers. All praise and glory belongs to God.